Hi, this is Mark Michelot showing you the Robly email marketing software and I'm going to show you uh, a little bit about the image browser. I'm clicking on the image browser right here and let me walk you through how to upload new files. Now first of all you can upload new files or you can do them via a URL but most of us just know how to upload files directly from a directory and, and this is more advanced but let me show you this right here so I'm gonna click on this and then I'm gonna click on this picture right here of a woman using her phone and I am gonna click open to upload it now the upload just completed and it brings me back to the view image pane right here in image browsers and it is a little bit confusing you, you need to click the view all here at the bottom to refresh it and then lo and behold it is refreshed right here and there are various things you can do with this image now first of all the image URL is right here okay so so if and when you want to share direct access to that image you can just share that if you want and if you need to download it again you can you can download it you can also edit the image this is a nice little feature right here so i'm going to click edit the image right here and it takes you to this little interface where you have some basic things that you can do and you can draw on it you know be all fancy schmancy um, or uh, you can maybe re resize it right here let's make it a little bit smaller Boop. or you can crop it and just do some basic stuff right here just getting rid of the edges for example and there you go and then you can add some more fancy things like you want to put it in a frame perhaps it's just pick something right here and apply and oh that's very very subtle I have trouble seeing that so let me go back here that one didn't work if you let me try this one okay and apply okay there you go so now we're gonna save that so we click save and it will take us back to the video pane right here and so now that you see that we have it updated here okay so now you, you have to be careful if, if you want to update the existing one or create a new one. Okay, we updated the existing one here. Now you can also add a label. See the label here? And this is good because it keeps you, because if you have too many images out here, after a while it gets kind of crazy. You know, it's like, ah, oh gosh, where was that thing? Now you can uh, search by it if you want. Like I can search for logo. And then, oh, there you go, there's the options of the logo. But you can also create labels. Let me say, I'm gonna create a logo label. Okay, so I'm gonna create. And there you go. So what I do right here is I can add a label to this. I'm clicking add a label and I'm going to add the logo label to it. Okay, so now um, what this means is, is that I can view this information by labels. So it's kind of a way to put things in subcategory. Okay, um, the, the, the key thing that I want to express to you is that as you add more and more visuals here, you need to give them very uh, meaningful names because notice that if I take this away right here, I'm going to image browser and I want to view images. This one right here, how would we find it? We, we actually didn't give it a good name. This is the original name of the photographer. So uh, how do we find it later? Uh, we, we have trouble doing that. And then once these images are here, I'll show you when we're building the newsletter how to actually bring them in to the newsletter. Now also what is, what is great is that you can actually have PDFs as well. And 
let me show you an example of how this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a new image, but that image is really going to be a PDF file. So I'm going to go upload image, upload file. And first I'm going to try to load a Word file right here. And you're going to see that it doesn't work. Okay, not accepted file type. Okay, so I'm going to click OK and I'm going to load that PDF. So I'm going to click on the PDF file right here and I'm going to load it. And then now after the PDF file uh, was loaded, it takes you back to the interface and here you are right here. So you see that we're viewing the PDFs under the, the image browser right here, viewing PDFs, and here we are right here. And this is really important because when you're sending out email marketing messages and you need attachments, quote unquote, don't include attachments because that actually will decrease your what is called deliverability very significantly because you are seen as a little bit more dangerous. So what you want to do is you want to provide a link to a PDF. And this is not a Word file. Even if it is a Word file, you need to save it in PDF form so that people can download it. And th this is a, a, a common security feature to not only avoid hacking and security breaches, but also just avoid malware and, and viruses any of that nefarious uh, type of junk. So don't have attachments, but rather links to PDF files. So remember, this is right here under the image browser, right, specifically PDF files. And so so in, for this circumstance, a PDF file is managed like a visual file or a, a photograph. This is quick information about how to upload images and utilize the image browser. This has been Mark McLaught, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.